Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. Art and I are with the lovely Dr. Liz Lister. Dr. Liz, great to see you again. Likewise, thank you. Hi, Dr. Liz. Um, I have a question for you. Uh, I spent uh, a good deal of my professional career in computer graphics, which included uh, 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 inkjet printers and all sorts of other kinds of printers. And when I left the industry as an active part of the hardware side of it, they were just beginning to experiment with 3D printing. And in fact, I remember having seen an experiment where they were printing uh, ears, okay, human ears. And uh, That's they, right. they, they weren't made out of uh, biological material, uh, but they were creating like a prosthetic kind of ear. But there was no question that they were going towards that. Uh, I haven't really paid that much attention, but I know that I've seen the building buildings, they're building houses, and they're doing all sorts of other things, 3D printing. Where is the, the status of uh, biological uh, reproductions uh, these days? Well, it is very interesting. Uh, there's actually a lot to it. Uh, a lot of, for starters, uh, medical modeling. So for medical students to learn or for doctors to practice on a body part, uh, for developing implants, right? A lot of devices that have been uh, very difficult to manufacture are getting a lot easier to manufacture, right? So that's just a couple of, so, so you mentioned ears. So other prosthetics, yes, absolutely. These are going to be increasingly used, I think. But what about uh, using genetic material for instance, uh, I think I ran across some kind of article where they were playing around with things like heart valves for people and things Correct. like that. Correct, yes. Th that's what I meant when I talked about implants. Mm. That's, that's what I meant by that. But to your point, there's also an application for 3D printing in tissue engineering. Mm. So I think that's also a bit of a combining of what you're talking about, yeah. using like a combination of human tissues and possibly some genetic information in order to be able to then use the 3D printing to make something that the body won't reject, for example. So there's definitely going to be some overlap there. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Liz, this sounds like it would be extremely valuable when it comes to uh, burn, skin burns. Um, exactly. That would uh, be replacing... an example of tissue. Yeah, that's a great yeah. example. Dental dental work, dental oh, really? implants, right? Mm. So reconstructing and doing dental uh, reconstructive type of surgery and procedures, uh, 3D printing will be very helpful for that and it will bring, really bring down the cost. Wow. So that's I, an I think easy I, example to think I about. Think, I think also uh, uh, maybe a hundred years from now, maybe sooner, but uh, as, as long as I keep doing these kind of developments, that I think we can probably look forward to seeing artificial limbs with nerve uh, uh, recreation so that we'll be able to uh, uh, actually have uh, very functional replacement parts for body parts that are lost either through accident or disease. Yes, I really like, that's absolutely correct. Uh, I really like the educational possibilities for it, uh, building models, for surgeons who are developing new surgical procedures uh, or just simply for medical students to be able to practice really basic things, uh, which of course at some point we do practice with patients like actual human people, uh, but it, I think it really has a role for that as well. Hmm. So that kind of shortened the learning curve as well. Wow, it's the yeah, stuff it's, of science fiction. It really is. Another really beautiful example that made me really interested in this was I read a story about a professor, a doctor at my alma mater, UC Cal University of California, Irvine, where I went to medical school, and he does mission trips to Central America. He's an ophthalmologist, mm. and he is measuring children in very remote, underserved villages checking their eyes and printing glasses for them right on the spot. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. 
yeah, there's a lot of possibilities. It's and it won't be a hundred years, Art. It'll be sooner than that. <laughs> okay, well then uh, it'll be over the next uh, 20, 25 years when I fully expect to be able to enjoy it and maybe do another interview with you. Uh, awesome, great. Dr. Liz, great to be updated on what's happening in the medical scientific world. Thank you so much. My pleasure, thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.